Process costing is a method used in accounting to determine the cost of manufacturing a product or providing a service by analyzing the costs incurred during each stage of the production process. This method is typically used in industries that produce homogeneous products through a series of standardized steps, such as chemical manufacturing, food processing, and oil refining. In process costing, the total cost of producing a batch of products is divided by the number of units produced to determine the cost per unit. This allows companies to calculate the cost of each unit of product, and to track how much it costs to produce goods at each stage of the manufacturing process. Process costing involves the following steps. 1. Identifying the different stages of production and the costs incurred at each stage. 2. Determining the total cost of production for a given period, including the cost of materials, labor, and overhead. 3. Dividing the total cost of production by the number of units produced to determine the cost per unit. 4. Using this information to evaluate the efficiency of each stage of production, and to make decisions about pricing and product offerings. Process costing is a valuable tool for companies that need to accurately track their costs and manage their production processes. By analyzing costs at each stage of production, companies can identify areas where they can improve efficiency and reduce waste, and make strategic decisions about how to allocate resources. In process costing, normal loss, abnormal loss, and abnormal gain are terms used to describe the loss or gain of materials or products that occur during the production process. Normal loss. Normal loss is the expected loss of materials or products that occurs during the production process. It is a result of the nature of the production process itself, and is considered to be a normal and acceptable part of the process. For example, in the refining of crude oil, a certain amount of oil is lost in the refining process due to evaporation, spills, or other factors. Normal loss is typically accounted for in the cost of production and is included in the cost of goods sold. Abnormal loss. Abnormal loss is the loss of materials or products that occurs due to unexpected or abnormal circumstances, such as theft, accidents, or equipment failure. This type of loss is not a normal part of the production process and is usually considered to be avoidable. Abnormal loss is typically charged to the cost of production and is included in the cost of goods sold. Abnormal gain. Abnormal gain is the gain of materials or products that occurs due to unexpected or abnormal circumstances. For example, if a machine produces more products than expected due to a technical glitch, this would be considered an abnormal gain. Abnormal gain is typically credited to the cost of production and is included in the cost of goods sold. It is important for companies to account for normal and abnormal loss and gain in order to accurately calculate the cost of production and determine the profitability of their products. This information can help companies make decisions about how to optimize their production processes, minimize waste, and improve efficiency.